Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude here, and uh, so I'm working, or was working, on my costume. That's going to be the Cambrian Explosion, and uh, I ran out of time, because it's Halloween, but I managed to get done this two meter long Anomalocaris. It's crazy, it's um, obviously, Anomalocaris didn't get this big. I think the largest is about a meter, but it's pretty cool that I could get it at least accurate proportion-wise. Uh, the number of plates on the sides and whatnot is completely accurate, which is uh, <laughs> a, a, like, a lot better than uh, last time I was doing the uh, Cambrian models, which is like two or three years ago. And I'll show you the updated version of my Opabinia. Any old um, followers of mine will recognize it. But um, so there's... Anomalocaris, biggest predator of the Cambrian. Here is Voxia, a common sponge with all these different branches coming off the sides. Um, I made this guy last year and it's in scale with these. Uh, this is Hallucigenia, a worm with legs and it's got spines on its back. It's pretty adorable, um, so it fits well with the costume. I was actually gonna have the sponge faceted to my back um, and then uh, kind of like, I guess a stick coming out of my back as well, and that, that was gonna be on it. Um, and then I got the Opabinia done. So this guy's a relative of Anomalocaris. It's got the five eyes, this trunk, and these set of jaws on the front. Um, so they grab prey, and then it's supposed to have a mouth down there that it pulls it into. Um, so the plates on the side, these little wings, I counted and made sure that was pretty accurate. And it's got the um, the little tail wings as well for steering. Um, then we got Pacaya. Um, it's a, I think it's a chordate, one of uh, our early ancestors. Not quite a fish. It's got a, um, a rod down the back. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got these little bristles on the head and these little, I guess they're kind of like antennae or something. And one big tail kind of resemble, resembles like a lamprey. Um, okay, and they would be like dangling, I don't know, from my arms or something. And over here, this is the less finished products. We've got a Toya. So this guy's a worm. Um, so the finished item would look something like this. As you can see, it's like almost an exact copy of this uh, toy. But yeah, it's a big predatory worm. You got the head region right there. And then behind it is a Wallaxia, uh, armored sea slug. So I've got the scales there. Um, you can see it would look something like this once it's done. And there is one side, <laughs> but obviously cutting those is pretty tedious. So I never finish that, um, kind of sucks. But it's one of the coolest ones. I actually love how it turned out. You can see it's pretty thick. Um, it's got a good mass to it. And I'm pretty sure all of these are in scale. Mm, kind of. I tried my best. Um, and I used this book here as a guide, some internet resources, and then the models for paint reference because they're pretty iconic. The uh, ROM model pack and the Safari one. You can see I've got the Opabinia colors from that one right there. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, probably finish it next week um, and I'll do an update video, let you guys know how it looks and uh, how I get around attaching these to myself. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.